Good morning, this is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of ISS Update this Thursday, September 6th. We're now getting a view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room where the team has been monitoring the systems aboard the station and uh, supporting the day's activities of the Expedition 32 crew members. Leading the Orbit 2 team here in the Station Flight Control Room today is uh, Flight Director Brian Smith. Serving as CAPCOM today has been astronaut Jack Fisher, not shown in this view. He has been uh, relaying all ground messages up to the crew. Meanwhile, the uh, six crew members aboard the station include Russian cosmonaut and commander of the complex, Gennady Padaka, and uh, flight engineers, cosmonaut Sergei Revin, NASA astronaut Joe Okaba, shown here on the right-hand side, and then on the left-hand side is cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, NASA astronaut Sunny Williams, and Japanese astronaut Aki Hoshide. Malenchenko, Williams, and Hoshide arrived at the International Space Station after docking their Soyuz spacecraft to the Rosviet module on uh, July 16th, and uh, today they will complete their 55th day in space. Meanwhile, Padaka, Revan, and Akaba had launched to the orbiting complex aboard their Soyuz spacecraft as the Expedition 31 crew, just uh, two months ahead of their station crewmates back in uh, May. Their vehicle docked to the Poisk module of the space station two days after their launch. Today, they will complete their 116th consecutive day in space. The uh, space station with its crew aboard is flying at an altitude of about 260 statute miles. The uh, orbiting facility is on a southeast track, having just made its way across the northeast Africa about 10 minutes ago and crossing into an orbital sunset now over the Indian Ocean. The Expedition 32 crew kicked off its day after an early morning wake-up at 1 a.m. Central Time, followed by the first of two daily planning conferences with ground controllers at mission control centers around the world to review today's activities. Today the crew has a light duty day following uh, yesterday's busy spacewalking day. Flight engineers Joe Okaba, Sunny Williams, and Aki Hoshide are working on a few post-spacewalk activities coming after yesterday's successful spacewalk that was uh, conducted to complete the installation of the main bus switching unit. This morning, Akaba, who worked the uh, station's arm from inside the space station during the spacewalk, along with uh, spacewalkers Williams and Hoshide, participated in a post-spacewalk debrief with the uh, spacewalk specialist here on the ground. Akaba then turned his attention to some regular maintenance work. He uh, worked to remove the depressed hose from the water recovery system to resume nominal urine processing assembly operations. The uh, water recovery system converts urine, sweat, and condensation into drinkable water supply for the crew aboard the International Space Station. Akaba also will take some time out to participate in a private medical conference today and uh, work to deactivate some video hardware that was used during yesterday's spacewalk operations. He will later today work to uh, remove the secondary power distribution assembly jumper and remove and replace a failed remote power control module. Meanwhile, yesterday's spacewalkers, flight engineer Sunny Williams and Aki Hoshide, conducted a few medical experiments early this morning following their uh, spacewalk yesterday. Williams is busy today scrubbing the cooling loops of the spacesuits that were used outside the complex yesterday. This involves uh, dumping and filling feed water tanks to uh, maintain the requirement for on-orbit stowage. It's also scrubbing and iodination of the uh, suits and the airlock cooling water loops. Today, Hoshide will perform maintenance on the water process assembly to finish transferring water from the uh, water resource system. He also earlier spent some time inspecting and cleaning the uh, bacteria filters in the uh, station nodes. Hoshide later will wrap up the day in some post spacewalk work to deconfigure the spacewalk systems and the airlock and also return some hardware gathered in support of the two recent U.S. spacewalks. And on the Russian side of the house, Commander Gennady Padaka and Flight Engineer Sergei Revin both spent some time with crew departure 
prep work as uh, Padaka Revan and NASA astronaut Joe Acaba are scheduled to leave the station and return to Earth in a little more than a week from today. Also today, today Commander Padaka, who is close to wrapping up his fourth space flight, reached the milestone of having accumulated 700 days in space. During this hour, flight engineer Revan is uh, working with the Russian science experiment known as the BAR experiment that looks at ways and uh, instruments for detecting the location of a loss of pressure aboard the station. Each of the crew members will put in their daily two hours of exercise using the onboard gym equipment that includes a station bicycle, a treadmill, and an advanced resistive exercise device that simulates weightlifting here on Earth. They will then participate in their final daily planning conferences with the ground controllers around the world. The crew is then scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.